What's up you dirty peasants? We're going to be doing a different video today and today's video is going to be about lightsabers. I bought a Saber Trio Senza, the Profi edition. Profi or Profi. If I'm saying it wrong then just roast me in the comments or something. I think it's Profi but I bought a Saber Trio lightsaber. Here it is. She's a beaut. It's amazing. Saber Trio is a wonderful company. They have wonderful customer service. They have great products. It's very well built. Uh, I highly recommend if you're going to be buying a lightsaber. But uh, I wanted to make this video because when adding some new sound fonts, I wanted to add some new sound fonts to it. And when I was in the process of doing that, I ran into some errors when I was trying to verify the config file in Arduino. And if that doesn't make any sense to you, then I'm going to have a link to a video that I used, a full tutorial of how to add a sound font to a Profi soundboard. I'm going to have that in the, in the description and you can watch all of that. And if you go through all of that step by step like I did, then you shouldn't run into any issues. But I did that step by step and I ran into some issues in Arduino. So I'm going to go through some of those errors that I came across and Hopefully that will help you guys. Maybe some of you ran into some, some same issues and you don't know how to fix them. So I'm going to go through those errors, hopefully help some people, and maybe see how it goes. Very important point here. I am by no means an expert in coding or understanding any of this. I know the bare minimum for how to add a sound font. I only know that stuff and nothing else. So if you have any additional errors that you've run across that are not covered in this video, I won't know how to fix them. I'm sorry, but I am not proficient in coding at all. So uh, the only errors that I will be able to fix are the ones that will be in this video. So I hope that it helps some of you, but uh, you know. Okay, so assuming that you have gotten all the way to the point where you need to verify and upload the config file to the soundboard. That's the point where I was running into problems, so that's the point where I'm assuming you are going to be at. Um, if you don't know how to do that, if you don't know how to get to those steps, then go to the video in the description and follow all those instructions and all those steps to get to that point. Um, but that's where we're, we're going to leave off. So the first error that I ran into was an error, so let's open up Arduino. <clears throat> so, the first error that I ran into was an error that said, so it popped up down here and there was a bunch of mumbo jumbo that I didn't understand, I'll admit it, um, but it said at the end, it said either, I forget what it said, but it said either missing or add uh, S3 button config dot h or something like that it had it had something with button config dot h um and it said it was at it was it was missing or it needed to add and i didn't understand that so the easy fix for that would be so you would go to your sd card of your profi saber so this is my saber trio this is the backup i don't actually have it plugged into my computer but this is just my backup of my sd card but what you would do is you would go to Extra, Profi OS, and then there is a folder called Props. So this right here, S3 button underscore config dot H, that's exactly what it said in the error down here. It said it needed to be added. So all you would have to do to fix that error would be to copy this copy this s3 button config dot h and then you would go to your profi assuming that you downloaded profi os version i have version 5.9 i think it is uh, but the folder that it, that once you download that from the website the folder that you get you would go to profi os then you would go to their props folder and you would just paste it into there. See? So now the, the S3 button underscore config dot H, now it's in there. Now that should fix that error. It was just not in there, so it was telling you, hey, you just have to add that. So 
that's specifically for Saber Trio. I don't know if you have anything with dot H at the end of it. If there's an error and it says add or missing something, something, something dot H, just try that. Try going into your props folder of your SD card and finding the same uh, file, the same .h file, and just copying and pasting it into the props folder of your Profi OS folder. Uh, that will most likely solve that issue. That's what solved the issue for me, and that's the exact uh, .h file that was the problem, was the s3 button underscore config .h. It was from like uh, it was from a forum that you can go on that you can ask questions about with you, all, any issues that you're having or any problems that you can't figure out. I will have a link to that as well, and you can create you can go on there and you can create a new post and you can ask questions. And actually, the the creator of the Profi Soundboard will respond to you and will answer all of your questions, which is really nice that you have that resource for you. So I'll leave that in the description as well, so you can have that resource if none of these are helping with your problems. The second error that I ran across, so that that error was fixed, but then I immediately ran into a second error. Um, and the second error was a little bit more uh, difficult to figure out. But once I did figure it out, it was very simple to fix, which it seems like in coding, that's usually the, the issue is just figuring out what the problem is. And once you figure out the problem, the fix is so easy. Um, so the second problem that I ran into was, uh, so let's see. So the second problem I had was with a blade style. So I was trying to add a new blade style with the sound font that I was adding. And this blade style came with the sound font. So I was like, well, why don't, why don't I just use it, right? Why wouldn't I? So what I did was I copied this and I pasted it. So let's go into, so this, here's my config file and here are all of my sound fonts, right? They're supposed to look like this. So what I did was I just, where did it go? I just copied this and I pasted it into my config file the way that it was supposed to be. Like I just, I went like this, I highlighted all this to get rid of that. And there's a, the, in the tutorial, it'll show you how to do this. But what I did was I just replaced all this with the font that was in, in the other folder. Um, because that was, I, that's what I was told to do in the tutorial. So that gave me an error and I couldn't figure out why. Uh, for the longest time, it was eating me up inside. I was trying to find all the answers there. I couldn't find any answers. So in the end, the problem was, if you see right here in this, this style PTR. So that, if you see in here, whoops, there's in each of these styles, there's one, two, three, four. And what I was doing was I was getting rid of all of this right here and just pasting the other one, which only starts with one. So then what happened was there would only be one, two. Okay. This will all make sense in a second. So what was happening, let's actually do it so you can visualize it. So, okay, so this is what I did. So this is the new, the new blade style that I wanted to add to the sound font. So you would just copy this, or this is what I did. I copied that and I pasted it right here. And then I moved these around so that it was a little bit more visually nice whoops so I just moved it like that okay but the problem was there's only two style PTRs and the problem was up here if you look the def the define num blades 
the number is 4. And what I found out was these style PTRs means these are the number, that's the amount that you need in each blade style. So you need 1, 2, 3, 4 in every single one or you're going to get an error. So the one that I added only had, where did it go? Only had 2. 1, 2. So what I had to do is I had to copy two more of these, two more style PTRs. You, I would just copy the bottom two from a different blade style. Just these smaller two ones. I would just copy them and add them to the bottom so that you have four. Because there always needs to be four or you're going to run into a problem. So that's what I did. So what you do is you just take two more copy and paste and you can you can make them stick out a little bit it's nice to keep them kind of if you keep them so they stick out like this cuz saber trio did a good job of doing that where they it's shows you really sim simply where all of the all of them are right so that you can find them and if it's all jumbled kind of like this one then it's a little bit harder to find them but you can still find them cuz they all start at the beginning they're not all in the middle somewhere so I forgot to do this in the video but make sure that there's a comma here make sure it's exactly like the other fonts or else you will run into another error so just double check make sure there's a comma there so that's what you had to do. So you have to you have to have four of these, or it has to match the number that's up top here. It has to match this number. I don't know if I'm assuming Saber Trio is all the same, but if you if you don't have a have a Saber Trio lightsaber, I don't know if the number is going to be the same. But I'm assuming that it's going to be the same for any profi saber. Whatever this number is is what these have to be. So if this number is three, then you need to have three of these in your blade style. If this number is two, then you need to have two. So that was the error that I ran into. That's the fix for it. If that didn't make any sense, then please let me know and I will try to explain it a little bit better in the comments for you. But that was the second error that I ran into. So the third error that I ran into, I finally figured out the first two errors and it took me hours and a bunch of communicating back and forth and I was so excited that I finally got these two ones fixed. It wasn't necessarily an error because I got the config file verified, I got it uploaded to my soundboard and the blade style and the, the uh, sound font was uploaded successfully but my blade the when I turned it on the light only went up to you can't even see it I can't do it it only came up to like here it didn't go all the way to the tip of the blade the light when it when I turned it on it would only get to about here and then it would stop so, you can imagine how pissed I was. But, that is also a super easy fix. So, all you have to do is go way down to the bottom of your config file. All the way to the bottom. And right here, it, it says blade config blades. So, right here, this number right here. And this number right here, those two numbers are the number of LED lights that are in your blade. And that depends on the length of your blade. So I got the uh, 30, I think it was 36.7 inch blade. And so that blade specifically has 133 LEDs in it. And for some reason, when I verified and uploaded my config and uh 
it went onto my soundboard. For some reason, this number changed. I did not touch it. I know for a fact I didn't touch it. But for some reason, it changed to 115, which I think is the 32-inch blade. Uh, so the the lights just would stop because they because for some reason it thought it was that length of the blade. Um, so all you have to do is if you don't know the length of your blade, if you don't know uh, what number LEDs are in your blade, they very conveniently on Saber Trio's website. If you go into the uh, whatever whatever what is it called? So if you go into the user guide of Saber Trio's website. And you go to Profi, and you scroll, 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 and then you go to changing the NeoBlade's length parameter all the way at the bottom. It will tell you right here how many LEDs are in your blade. And if if you want to just, they, it'll tell you how to do it exactly right here. All in, in here, this will tell you exactly what I'm telling you right now, how to change it. So these are the number of LEDs that are in each length of the blade. So if you know the length of your blade, then that's the number. And all you have to do is change these two numbers to whatever blade you have. And then that'll fix it. So once again, that wasn't really an error. It didn't give me an error in Arduino, but it was something that changed and something that I didn't know how to fix. So those are the three problems that I ran into when I was trying to upload a new font. And it's all Gucci now, it all works. So I'm very happy. I hope uh, some of these or all of them helped you out if you're running into some problems. I know how frustrating it can be if you run into an error and you have no idea what it is because I'm so new to this. I still have no idea what 99.9% .9 of this stuff means. So I know I need all the help I can get. So if I can help any of you guys, then that's a win in my book. So uh, to end the video, I'm going to show you guys a cool sound font that I've added. It's free. I'm going to add a link to the description where you can download it because it's a free font. So if you want it, if you think it's cool, and go ahead and download it, but I'm going to show it to you. It's one of my favorite ones. I think it's really cool.